Aw. Hey everybody, welcome back. My hair's a little stringy today. Yo. Just deal with it throughout this. Just know I'm, I'm beautiful regardless of what my hair looks like. <laughs> Thanks. This is gonna be really short and sweet because I don't have a ton of time today. This is going to be the start of a new segment, I think on Tuesdays, maybe called Teaching Tuesdays. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But as an English teacher, particularly as one who is new, there's a lot of things that I've learned that might be helpful for other people that are just starting teaching or maybe to give other people some fresh ideas. And this also gives me some motivation to learn new styles and things to share with all of you. So I just want to kind of share my successes and my stories and maybe some new ideas for you to try out. Sound like a plan? Cool. So today we're talking about tongue twisters. That's right, tongue twisters. <clears throat> Example one. <clears throat> I slit a sheet, a sheet I slit, upon the slitted sheet I sit. <clears throat> I slit a sheet, a sheet I slit, upon the slitted sheet I sit. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Number two. One smart fellow, he felt smart. Two smart fellows, they both felt smart. Three smart fellows, they all felt smart. <clears throat> <laughs> One smart fellow, he felt smart. Two smart fellows, they both felt smart. Three smart fellows, they all felt smart. <laughs> okay, I think I did it. These suggestions were given to me by another teacher in the area, and I've started to use them in my not children classes. And here's a couple of things that I found. One, they're super engaging. My high school, middle school students stop talking to each other and they start practicing. And we do, we, I time them and I put their scores up on the board so they can see how, fa how much faster they're getting, you know, for themselves. It's not really, there's no winners, right? I don't have candy for the person who speaks fastest. But it gives them something to, to really focus on. The, the second reason I like these is they're good for warming up, especially for speaking English. Take the second one, for example. One smart fellow, he felt smart. Two smart fellows, they both felt smart. Three smart fellows, they all felt smart. So felt has LT. LT is not a sound in Japanese, so that's good for practicing that. SM, okay, there's no SM in Japanese, that's good practice. ART, like RT, smart. That mart is not smart, right? It's smart. Three smart fellows. That's really hard. The F is different, the three instead of three. There's a lot of new sounds in this specific tongue twister, and it's a really great way to kind of warm students up to speaking English and getting out of like their normal Japanese mindset with their muscle memory. The third thing it really helps with is speaking quickly, right? If you can just speak a few phrases very quickly, you can start to integrate some of that into your daily conversations. For example, if you want to say good morning in Japanese, you don't say ohayo gozaimasu. You say ohayo gozaimasu, right? Right. I, I'm pretty sure I, I'm, I think I'm right. So it sounds like one word, not two. And what I do on the what I'll do on the board is I'll write they both felt, right? And I'll get them to say it. They both felt. They both felt. And then I'll say now put them together. Say them as one word. They both felt, they both felt, they both felt, they both felt. And getting them used to saying three words as one is a huge accomplishment when trying to speak at a native speed. Similarly, um, arigato gozaimasu, right? Uh, thank you very much. You don't say it, arigato gozaimasu. You say, it, arigato gozaimasu. Relating it back to Japanese, every single time I do, they go, Oh, yes, it is weird if you say arigato gozaimasu. So I've had a lot I've had a lot of success with this and I and thank you to the person who gave it to me. If you ever watch this video, you're the best. And 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 vice versa, um after we did this, they gave me some tongue twisters, which is really cool. Um they want me to learn theirs. So it's like a good like building rapport and like bonding with your students to build good relationships with them. So that's teaching Tuesday. I would love to keep this up. If you have any tips or thoughts of your own, put them below. I'll get to it and then I'll maybe do some more research and maybe that'll be next week's topic. Again, I have only been teaching for two months. I have limited experience and I think that will give a very interesting lens on how to teach. Because if we're always listening to professionals, we kind of lose track of the struggles of first time teachers. You know? Maybe just a little bit. Peace out, Girl Scouts! And to wrap it up, I will see you tomorrow for Wednesday. 
I have my tech review Friday idea. Get ready for that. <laughs> Peace! Hi, uh, you've reached Anthony. Please leave a message after the beep. Thanks.